Hello everybody, welcome back to the Lotus Fire Show, where my name is Pyrus Matterburst, and today we are live once again with Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. So long as I boot it up, because I figured there's no point in booting it up if I have to freaking wait until it connects to uh, the stream every day. I'm a little bit low energy on this fine morning, uh, because it feels warm and I stayed up a little too late last night, so bear with me. Plus we can't be too loud today since other people in the house have decided to exist more than usual. So my wife just let me know that uh, Chocobo's Grand Prix is out, and um, I already know. <laughs> this is, uh, hang on. Should be able to connect. Come on, game. I know, not Twitch, stream is a bit, Streamlabs is a bit wonky when it comes to connecting to this particular game. Come on. Yes. Connect to Squat War. There we go. Epic. Okay, so there's a bit of screen glare this morning, even though I did my best to get rid of it. Uh, but it's <laughs> generally warm, uncomfortable, and all that good stuff. Okay. Okay. We are done with most of the quests here. One of the holds is a workshop of tools. You can kind of just let you have seen the Dalek has stored a swoop bike aboard the Ebon Hawk. If you find a track somewhere, it might be able to make some good money on it. Uh, we've just left the ruins, right? So we want to go home, I suppose. So let's do exactly that, right? Because that's the strange carrier. Yeah, good stuff. Back to the Ebon Hawk. Let's go talk to some Jedi. Actually, let's start by re-equipping our lightsabers. No, I said the lightsaber game. Don't give me like some kind of mouse drift. Ugh. What? What? He's like, why are you guys using regular weaponry? Bastila, what do you have to say to me, sir? How can I help? I'm talking about that dream. The two of us shared, but I am certainly willing to answer any questions the Jedi Council did not. Um, what do you think they were doing? It was obviously important, however, that is why we must investigate this further. How did we you share this? Why we shared the vision, or why we even received it in the first place. To the first, I can only repeat the answer that the Council gave us our fates are linked. And for two as strong as we are in the force, that amounts to a mere physical bond. Yikes. For the second, I truly don't have an answer for you. The force works as it will, and perhaps we should be grateful for what we've been given. Okay, how do they become linked? Believe me, I certainly don't find the prospect of being joined to wow. enjoyable in any Sorry. Fashion. The force often seems to cause events that bend the laws of <laughs> It does seem convenient. <laughs> especially with those that are strongly affiliated with it. In this respect, you and I will simply have to become accustomed to such convenience. We are the tools of the Force. <coughs> we do as it wills. All right. You there make us out alive. The other. What you believe the Force to be ultimately will decide who you are. Fair enough. What would you... Um... I think we'll receive with more. Luck, we with luck, but okay. We'd rather not rely on such visions to guide us. But when we have so little else to go on, and the galaxy hangs in the balance. Yeah. Perhaps because we desired to, 
Perhaps because they came to this planet and were strong enough in the Force to leave a, a trace. What do you mean by a trace? Important here. Of that, I am certain. Well, they found the Starforge they thing. No, they found the map of the Starforge. Or it may not. We dreamed about Revan and Malak either because we were meant to or because we needed to. There is no other way to look at it. As you wish. You really should. Okay, sure. I'm actually going to go into the Ebon Hawk if you don't mind. Uh, however, the heck, I'm supposed to do that. Start by wiping my glasses, maybe it'll help me see. It's not because I'm not seeing great right now, and it's not just screen glare because my curtains should be closed. I don't have any sunlight pouring in. There we go. Yes. No, 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 no. Is it this? Ah, there we go. Alright, cool. Um, Candace is here, uh, the droids here, uh, Zalbar is here, um, everyone should be here. Again, the luminosity is god awful, but I wonder if they'll fix that in the remake. Not that it matters to me, because I'm not buying the remake. Galaxy map. Evans on onboard navigational computer. When you are ready to leave Dantooine, you can use the Galaxy map to travel other planets around the galaxy. A destination is still stored in Edmund Hawk's computer from the last trip Davik made with it. Oh, that's interesting. I wish I'd known that ahead of time. Um. <laughs> Not a fan of the e UI, but mainly, well. Actually, you know what? The UI is not bad. It's just that it would be a lot more uh, practical if there was the added bit of like an arrow to tell you how many di di directions, uh, dis destinations you had. As opposed to just points. That way you're not sure you're missing out on stuff or whatever. I'm sure it won't be an issue once we actually have other destinations, though it did tease us saying that there was something saved from da Davik's time and I didn't see anything. Uh, but uh, that's just my own personal two cents. Again, the brightness is really screwing me over. Um, emergency food supplies, wow. Metal box. It's empty. A locked plastic. okay. Everything will be empty, don't ask me why. Like we looted this thing or whatever? There was something locked, hang on. I have several questions. I saw the security thing show up. Whatever, I guess. Actually looking for the workbench. Not that I can freaking see anything. Do I like need to add more contrast? Is that an option? Turning off may help the game. No. And like, I didn't have much of a choice to activate certain things, i.e. V-Sync, because that screwed with my movement. We're supposed to have a workbench, but I guess it's... <laughs> guess not. I'm keeping the usual. Thank goodness I can see you. Uh, let's go talk to the council. Who we're supposed to trust. No fights? Sad face. Only caves. No! If everything's like the inside of the Ebon Hawk, it'll be awful. Please. How you doing, John? This fine, fine morning. Ah, you have returned. Your ah, Michael. meet Yoda. How you doing? Have you discovered what it was that Revan and Malak sought in those ruins? Complete star map. This news of a star forge is disturbing. Oh, that's fun. I'm sorry to hear that, John. But we must not do so in haste. We must discuss recent events. Yeah, we know where you, you all got. We know how y'all feel about haste. The Jedi archives to see if there's any mention of the star forge and what it might do. We must learn why. Right, I didn't notice, but it is menu frozen. You are correct. Curses. Sorted out. A blight upon these people. 
and we will summon you when we are done. Padawan, you have done well in discovering the star map hidden within the ancient oh. ruins. But there is more you must do in the battle against Malak and the Sith. We no kidding. Deny. No victory over the Sith will not come through martial might. <coughs> the Council has a mission for you, Padawan. I've consulted our vast archives in an effort to discover the nature of this star forge. Star forge. All my efforts have been in vain. It is pre-galactic history, if you will. The star forge must be found. Revan and Malak sought it out when they began their trek. Ah, the goo yeah, the booster. The star forge is surely a powerful tool. Of the next day is usually the worst. The star map in the ruins showed you four planets, but it was incomplete. It did not show the location of the Star Forge itself. We believe there may be similar star maps on other planets. Each star map is likely a small piece Right, we got four planets puzzle. or whatnot. Find the star maps on Kashyyyk, Tatooine, Manam, and Korriban. And we believe they will lead you to the Star Forge. Sounds like the well. numbers have been ravaged <clears throat> by the war. By defections to Malak's cause. And by Sith assassins, but we realize the importance of this mission. It's like a whole body muscle pain, right? You're achy all over. We would surely draw the full attention of Malak and the Sith, dooming your efforts to failure. Uh, okay. Secrecy is our best defense against the Sith, but it would be foolish to send you. I'm familiar with it. Someone to aid you, young Padawan. Um, everyone I know, except for one person, called in sick the next day that they had, uh, they got the vaccine. A connection that might be the key to unraveling the mysteries uncovered by Revan. And Juhani has also asked to accompany. Oh. Him. After long deliberation, we have Oof. her request. F in the chat Juhani for John. Nearly fell to the dark side. Perhaps her presence will serve as a reminder. Why not just treat her like a person instead of a lesson? Do you realize? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Catwoman of Of course, those who aided you on Terrace will also come. They possess skills you may find useful in your quest. <clears throat> Remember that secrecy and discretion are paramount to your success. So I feel the need to point out that like throughout all the, the, the Star Wars media that I have consumed, I have developed a healthy dislike for the Jedi Council, exactly. will be a sanctuary for you. Just as a general rule. And it's not because I'm some kind of Darth Vader simp, it's because I watch Clone Wars. I'm actually an Ahsoka simp, quite honestly. You can leave whenever you wish. The sooner the better. The longer you wait, the stronger Malak becomes. There you go. John John knows what's up. A warning, young Padawan. The lure of the dark side is difficult to resist. I fear this quest to find the Star Forge could lead you down an all too familiar path. The fate of the galaxy is in your hands, young Padawan. We pray you are up to the challenge. May the Force be with you. Thanks, Meet Yoda. Uh, where's the workbench here? Because I can't find the one on my ship. Path of balance is the truest path of the path of force. And yet the extended media wants to slander them by saying that their Jedi blades, their their lightsabers are weaker than regular lightsabers because kyber crystals that have a gray color are weak. Should be one on the hawk. Yeah, I couldn't find it, and the hawk is dark and gross. Y'all. I can barely see you now, right now. So. I'm done all my side quests here, uh, so yeah, we have no reason to stall. I did look at the Hawks map. They mentioned that Davik went to a place. I don't want a word if I may. There are many rumors about your most recent meeting with the Jedi Council. There's talk that they are sending you on a mission to help us against Malak and the Sith. Uh, how do you know they gave me a mission? I saw you going into the Council Chambers. You were in there for some time. I naturally assume the Council had given you a task before. 
Please understand that I'm not asking you to reveal anything that could endanger the order of the Republic. Uh, whatever the task the Council has given you is for your ears, not mine. Only wanted to wish you well and to warn you to be careful. There are many evils out there, many dangers. The Sith are not the only minions of the dark side. It's more dangerous than them. Master Dorak has been training me to succeed him as Chronicler here in the Academy. In my studies, I have come across tales of creatures that are born of the dark side, monsters of pure evil. Worst of these abomination is the Terentatic, a beast that feeds on the blood of those who are strong in force. Over the centuries, many Jedi have fallen to their ravenous hunger. Uh, makes it so dangerous. Terentatic is a predator, and we Jedi are its prey. They are incredibly strong with the primal cunning, and they have inborn resistance to the force. There are some who believe the Terentatic is a monster bred by the ancient Sith and spread throughout the galaxy to destroy the Jedi. Fortunately, the Terentatic is quite rare. They only dwell in the most dangerous and darkest of places. In fact, one has not seen, been seen in nearly 40 years. Right, but naturally we're going to see one, right? Because that's how, like, you don't, you don't, Chekhov's gun me, right? And why are we worried about them now? It's not the first time the Terentatic have vanished for long periods of time. Many believe they can lay dormant for years, only to rise and hunt when the power of the dark side waxes full. Fear Malak's rise may have woken these creatures from the dormant state. Once the Sith are beaten, I would not be surprised if the Council organized another great hunt to try and exterminate them. What's this about Chekhov's gun? Well, they just pointed out uh, a creature called the Terentatic, and then they're like, yeah, they're probably gone. But maybe not. So, Chekhov's gun says, we're going to see it. I think that's what I'm referring to. Uh, final warning as you go. It'll never be the story, right? Yeah, exactly. Uh, Padawan, do not underestimate the Terentotic. If you do, you may su suffer the same fate as those who disappeared after the Great Hunt. Okay, yeah, well... It's not a question of underestimating them, it's a question of whether or not they're going to attack me, and I can guarantee you that they will, because... Still seems to have something on Ryan. Yeah, sure. What's up, Still? Uh, you look like something's bothering you. Not bothering me. Not exactly. I've been thinking about what the Jedi Council said about the two of us. How you doing, Liam? There's a bond between us. I do not dispute that. I can feel it, as I'm sure you can. The nature of that bond and its effect on our mission remain in question. Um, Necessary, perhaps, but it is no guarantee of our success. Not enough sleep, oh, same. My dog no bite. <laughs> nah, my dog no bite. Yes, it do. I saw your service records when you were transferred aboard the Ender Spire, but nothing beyond that. I know very little about you. I'd like to ask you some questions, given our relationship. What's up, John? Don't worry. You should make sure you keep questions. everybody equipment nothing somewhat up to date. Oh no, I hate that. First, what kind of background do you have? Uh, I'm in a hot, I'm hot in form. Good. On which planet were you born? Zeralia. The current ages. Uh. Yes. Well, the truth is, I was studying how you responded to my questions. Your reactions helped me judge you. This was a test for me to. I almost I, I could have gone the Carthway and just answered everything. S S sarcastically. You were honest, which is good. And you treated this as a serious matter, which it is. This bond we share will shape both our destinies. Yeah. Which is not to be taken lightly. But I imagine you've had enough questions for a while. So many things have happened to you since Taurus. It's probably a lot for you to absorb. We can speak again later, after you've had time to think about all this. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. As long as I don't get re soft locked, I'm set. Imagine having canners. Look how awful this place is. Uh, lighting. Hey, yo, candle roos. Where's the workbench, my guy? There's a speeder here. And a swoop bike. Oh my god, there it is. It's just a one room I forgot to check. Lightsaber upgrades. I want this one. Yes. Power crystal. Attack and damage is one. On hit plumbly stop. Whoa, that's wild. I'm gonna go with this. <laughs> oh, why not just equip both? Yeah, okay. Assemble! And then, am I gonna be able to. One robot crystal for you? Ah, we don't have any more button. Um. I don't have everything for you. Ordo's repeating blaster? I don't have anything for you. Okay. Sad face. Missions Vibro Blade. Uh, still can't do anything. All I have is like Jersey steel stuff. And apparently I can't upgrade my armor. 
Sad boy. To the galaxy map. That's at the cockpit. The Ebon Hawk is literally designed like the Millennium Falcon, isn't it? Yep. Okay, gotcha. I already noticed that last week. But last week? Yesterday. You want red? I do want red. I like red. Um, and uh, until they tell me that it affects my standing with other Jedi, I will use red. These are the rules of the duel. A little. A little. A lot. I think you mean referring to the Millennium Falcon comment, yeah? Dantooine. Uh, see, we've got Corbin. I think we can stay away from Corbin for a while. Manan. Kashik. Yavin. Gas Giant. It's Big Jupiter. Okay, hold up. So Yavin is where our boy Davik was headed prior. Kashik is Wookiee Town. Um, Tatooine Manan. Cell cap. Oh, that's where they speak the language we're talking. Okay. Wookiees. Mm. No one on Corbin is native. Okay. Let's go to Yavin, since it's the side quest town. Okay, it looks a little bit different from the Millennium Falcon, but very similar still. Even four. Woo, it's not a... No, if it's black, I'm out. Oh, God. Oh, wait, no, this is Revan's Malik's Malik ship. Okay, I can see it on stream just Malik, fine. Star okay. Forge is operating at two hundred percent capacity, far beyond our expectations. I am more interested in the young Jedi Bastila and her battle meditation. Odd. Have you learned how she escaped the Again, the brightness is really awful. She was aided by Karth a decorated war hero of the Republic and a legendary soldier. During the Mandalore Wars, he was honored many times for his bravery. You know this man? Yes. He served under me when I still followed the Republic. You could say I Oh boy. Interesting. How did you acquire this information, Admiral? An eyewitness, Lord Malak. Callow Nor, uh -huh. anti hunter. Somehow he survived getting crushed by the sea lion. Apparently they left him for dead. A Jedi and a war hero. It's a wonder you survived the encounter. I mean he did have hacks. Kahlo has agreed to help us capture the young Bastila for a very hefty fee, of course. But I assure you, he is well worth the price. His reputation as a bounty hunter is well earned. Her companions are nothing to me, Kahlo. But I desire the... I wouldn't pay him considering he's already lost, but... All possible. Lord Malak, forgive me, there is something else. May we have a private audience away from the ears of the common soldiers? I trust you are not wasting my time, Admiral Karath. I promise you will be very interested in what Kahlo has to tell you about Bastila's other companions, Lord Malik. Hey, wait, no, I want to hear as a player. Aw, game. Well, that looks like a JPEG moving ab above a JPEG. I don't know how I feel about that. You love to see those pressurized air blasts. It's just like Seamus' ship, but not as cool. Alright, I don't know why they have to force me to leave. Just checking our supplies in the cargo hold, something's not right. Uh, what do you mean? Bones being into the emergency stash of food. Mission and I asked everyone nobody knows anything about it. You might want to check out the food stores next time you're in the cargo hold. Oh, baby, that means that we've got a stowaway. Liam Neeson! Liam Neeson's niece, son! Liam Neeson's niece, son! Let's talk about what the next bit is. I uh, believe the cargo hold. I don't remember what the cargo hold is. Um, 
Do I get the map that tells me what everything is? Ah, here we are. Cargo hold. Okay, good. Nice, 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 nice. Thanks, Elba. Thanks, Elba. Let me check this. Uh, find the stowaway. There you go. Bet it's in here. Sure, the food source seems to have been disturbed recently. No one in the party would have done this, so there must be some other explanation. Examine the supplies. There are no half-eaten or torn packages to indicate theft was from Pester Vermin. It looks like some unknown person has been conducting clandestine raids on your stores. Whoever the thief is, they may have managed to avoid detection by you or your companions so far. Maybe a thorough search of the ship will reveal the stowaway. Look, I'm not against stowaways. I just, I just want to talk. I just, I just want to talk. Compartment? Hello. I feel like that's going to be where I find the person, which is mildly annoying, but... How would they have stowed away? Who is it even going to be? I just want to talk. <laughs> Look, I, I didn't say... I kind of thought about it, but... The saber that's red would kind of be not a good idea to do so. Hey, you droid, have you seen anybody? You don't talk much. I feel I must apologize for the way I acted towards you before. I think you already did that, my friend. It was wrong of me. You thought the dark side had consumed you. I am sorry for thinking you would only try to kill me. I hope that by helping you in your task, I may redeem myself in your eyes. It's kind of funny that like we did this and she might have actually not been a party member had we not. most reassuring to know that you can forgive me even though I tried I kind of want to eject Candorus into space though our time journeying together I will succeed fantastic thanks for the thanks for the conversation um Zalbar have you seen anybody no you didn't you don't know oh uh, think of the soft patter of footsteps behind you but then you stopped listen they disappeared oh behind me that he says quite intriguing Kando is dark by nature. I know, that's why I want to yeet him. He's on the wrong side. Nah, I think that's a bit prejudiced. You're right. My bad, my bad, my bad. Hey, too. Okay, we heard something, so let's continue our examination. Stowaways usually come in youthful ages. But shocky, shocky, boom, boom. Yeah, but he can't use the force. We could find Mission's brother on Tatooine. That'd be interesting. I feel like Candorus would be relevant on, on Yavin. He keeps saying that to me, and I don't... I don't know what that means. Like, what am I supposed to do? Oh, the cargo hold. Kipuna, bona na kichu. No abs, no abs. Salima wanga No abs, mehut bad liars. What? Aunts. Mucha shakapaka. She sounds like she's speaking Sims, by the way. Where is she? Sasha. Mucha Shakapaka. You bum a capsi. Mucha Shakapaka. What about Susa Sasha, okay. Mucha Shakapaka. What about Susa Sasha? The audio is Hatties. Huh. Uh, many other words you speak Kipuna, Bona na kichu. Selima wanga kunbi king. Okay. Uh, 
Okay. May as well not I see you or you see me. Okay. Wrist tag. Wrist tag. Starship. Don't abook. I need to Don't hear more. Don't keep. Uh, say something else. Nope. Yes, the one. Don't abook. Hi. Didn't get all that, but sure. <laughs> okay, you said something before. What is gone this and? You were gone this and. Something about me, yes. You already said that. What about? But what? Gone this and me. Okay, you like me. Okay, cool. No abs. No bad. Abs. Me abs means hit. Is that it? Ah, yes. Is that. No abs is to hurt. No abs means not hurt. Is that it? Yay. I understand. No, I won't hurt you. <laughs> Yum. Nuggets is uh, uh, Stabs down several times to figure. Make capsi nuggets. Kipuna, bona nak. Now, uh, it's not now or. Kipuna, bona nak. Okay. Points towards elsewhere on the ship, yum. Me and. Mucha shaka paga. Give me food, don't you? Yum is food. Yeah, that makes sense. How could Beyonce? You want food now, you're hungry. Tabid me you but tabid you? What do you mean? Am I gonna get like a full translation by some point? Or am I gonna have to keep figuring out what the heck she's saying consistently? Like she's speaking some kind of untranslatable version of Albed. Yuba Capsi, Tabid me you but Tell me something about it. I get it. Thank you. Uh, why are you on my ship? You came in the ship before you were very scared. Why? Uh, Mandalorian. The Mandalorians, okay. And you're on the ship. Mm -hmm. You don't want to leave the Evan Hawkins at home, okay? Uh, why are you scared of the Mandalorians? Would you step here and say, yeah. They took it for hurt you. Ship wasn't home, you didn't like it. Gotcha. Uh, Ebon Ham is on your own. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Tell me about your own before. Don't uh, keep no okay. Okay. I think we just got a quest saying. Consider you have managed to communicate with the strange stone. Whose name appears to be Sasha and learn about what she was doing aboard the ship. Apparently, she was once held by the Mandalorians long enough to learn their speech, but nothing else. She escaped from them long enough to stow away on the Ebon Hawk and hide. Her original home seems to be Dantuin. An archaic form of an ancient tongue. <laughs> Alright, let me off the ship. I'd like to not be straining my eyes to see stuff. We could bring Candorus, but I don't like him, so... I'm on level 10. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Oh boy. This is all inside of a cell. Oh right, it's a, um, it's a thingy. Okay, this is like the sewers. 
We've all heard that before. Hey, who is that? What do you want? I recognize you have Davix, isn't it? Who are you? You're new or something? Yeah, I'm very new. That's not like a Trandoshan, you're not one of Davix. Who are you? What do you want? Uh, I work for the Republic. Hey, the Republic hasn't been here in 50 years. I'll see why they'd start now. Pokemon Center team plays. <laughs> I have nothing against the Republic, so as long as they don't get all worked up, I guess I can let you in. Uh, it would be nice to have someone to talk to for a change. Trandoshans and smugglers aren't exactly stunning conversationalists. Well, you're just getting kind of awkward through the door. If you'll just hold on a minute, I'll open this dang thing and we can talk more face to face. Just have a fill with this dang door lock. Thing keeps jamming. There we go. My guy. Susan time. You look like I thought you would. Too human. Uh, don't seem any of your kind of at all anymore. Not since the war, anyway. What brings you here? Sorry, I've never heard of it. There's nothing in the system except ruins of Exar Kun's war. Uh, Exar Kun. What? Don't tell me youngsters don't know anything about Exar Kun in that war. And then again, there's been a lot of mm, troubles recently. I've heard. Uh, like me about Exar Kun. Exar Kun was a Jedi to start at least. He came here to Yavin and landed on the fourth moon, the one you can see through the window. There were some ancient Sith temples there, and then them Exar Kun gained terrible top powers. He raised the Sith and waged a war against the Republic, much like what seems to be happening today. Exar Kun was far more powerful than any Sith lore who has come since. The very ground trembled beneath his feet when he looked at you, and you just, just that's all in the past now. God, my life is staying here and tinkering with the stuff I found in the ruins and the things that Trandoshan smugglers bring me. Who are the Trandoshans? Mercenaries and bounty hunters, scum mostly. They look like two big league <laughs> Oh, right. No, that's not sort of like Rodin. Right? Nothing like it. Trandoshans are ugly, disgusting creatures. We never want to say that to your face. Sweep your head off, clean off. Oh, wait, you're a Rodian. The Trandoshans are the. The bounty hunter ones, the the, the hunters from, uh, where are they here? Uh, I found me here a couple years ago after the war ended. Uh, a couple years after the war ended. Usually they don't bargain with people they find alone in a abandoned space station. We worked out a deal. I'd give them a few of my more applicable inventions at reasonable prices, and they'd keep me supplied with food and new materials. I've worked out well so far, for years really. With David gone, they've been getting ideas though. Anything else you want to know? You don't have to play Pazak, do you? Uh, the card game, actually, I do. One of the Aqual Aqual Aqualish Smugglers who come here by here regularly likes to play a bunch, and I kind of picked up the habit from him. I've actually gotten pretty good at it myself. Play a couple rounds if you want. Be warned, though, I don't play for small amounts. There you go, let's play. How much are you going to bet? 750. Let's go. Half my money. I really like the concept of having zero um, negatives, so we're going to take out one of our threes. And I don't want to take out another one of my twos. I think we're set. Good stuff. All right. That was kind of hoping. There we go. Oh, he's got good cards. Okay, I see. Do 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 do. This is a bit riskier now. Um, busted. Nice, he doesn't have a minus four. At least not his hand. Okay, it's pretty good. Uh oh, he does have a minus three. Okay, for me, I've got a plus two. Okay, so he's got one more card, which means I'm still at a disadvantage. However, if I'm lucky enough, I'm not. I'm not taking that chance. <laughs> oh crud! There we go. Okay, now we, we're now we're like 100% luck based. Um, Yada yada da well. Fair enough. Don't feel bad, kid. Happens all the time. Interest in the game? Yeah, sure. I got only like a bit of money. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, I got a negative two and a plus a bunch. Okay. Should use a plus five. I failed. Oh, actually, we're. Got a whole 26 there. Minus one. Ah, no. Nope. 
B -b 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 that. B -b -b it's got a plus two for sure. No? Oh. No, I did have a plus two. Okay, fair enough. It's nice. Didn't even have to try. Nice. Okay. That puts me at a bit of an advantage. Pause like it's such riveting gameplay. I know it's not a good idea to not stand here. Uh, uh, nice. Good thing too. Because I could have tied by accident. Not really something I wanted. Ya boy decided to be cheeky about it. Ah, oh, bruh. Yeah, I choose to tie it. <clears throat> I'm supposed to take an unneeded risk. Your luck's gonna run out, opponent. Oh, I like that they don't name him at all. Um, we're gonna end that here and stand. There we go. Got him. Give me my money back. To admit that, but I think I could beat you a couple more times. You interested? Uh, no, I'm good. We got we're, 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 we're equal. Um, any questions? Tell me about the system. This. Gas giant here is Yavin, and it's got a whole bunch of moons around it. The only really interesting one is Yavin 4, though, and it's been pretty much picked clean. What was on Yavin 4? Uh, Exarch Queen started the Great Sith War 50 years ago. Use Yavin 4 as a base, building a lot of Sith temples here. When he lost, the Republic came and bombed the surface of the planet, destroying pretty much everything. Pretty much everything? Well, you could still find a few things here and there on surface. Some buried from the bombardments, some that look much, much older. I've been there a bunch of times and found pretty much all there was to find. Took them back here and tinkered with them a bit, getting them up and working or improving them. I have a bunch you could look at if you're interesting. Maybe purchase, or what do you got? Aren't you though? Pay for a lot you can make. Yeah. <clears throat> if you're willing to pay, I got a few more of my advanced things you can look at. I'm always working on more, and you can check back some other things if you. Sure. So I kind of want to know. Um, how how do you know if like is there stuff that allows me to know when I buy something if it's upgradable or not? Because uh, like upgrade. Ah, there we go. <laughs> Never mind. It says it right here. That is ten thousand credits. That is six thousand credits. Uh, that is upgradable. Um, it gives me stealth bonus too. Uh, Max dex bonus is four. Take that, but I bet, bet, but I don't think it's gonna be enough. Varagreen droid shield. Contain an advanced fire control trajectory analysis system, which links to held range weapons. Okay, so that could be cool for my boy, um, Karth. Ah, repair kit gone. Nah, they're just crap. The value's crap. Okay. Those extra lightsabers I don't need, I don't think. So here, I have a few lightsabers. I'll keep one just in case. Um, based off the fact that like I'm probably gonna have another Jedi or something. I sell the stems. Ideally, we won't need them. Don't want mines. That's an upgrade item. We're gonna keep that. Um. I have one droid and I'm not using him in combat, so. Hmm. That's still very not much what I want, but. Game crashed. Clicked on an access panel and the game crashed. <sighs> Just bro, man. Come on, game. Hate that. Like, desperately hate that. That's annoying.
I am a Jedi. <laughs> The exchange might have heard of them. They run smuggling operations all over the galaxy. Weapons, slaves, whatever, whatever. I don't know. That's not my house. Useful like transitions get me patched up and upgrade what they bring. I think, yeah. Nobody doing nothing. Been in the for 50 years for the station was even built. I just sit all around all day with that. Yeah, yeah. Seven foot frame crash along his back when your game locks itself. You're all fade to black. I don't know what I just said. Don't. I'm not the songwriter. I dare you to crash again, game. I swear to God. No. Okay. Are you allergic to accessing that access panel, Hester? Come on. Crash my game for an access denied, I swear to god. Bro, I can hear the game struggling not to just die. That's amazing. Well, this is great. I can't really go down to Yavin 4, I think. Unless I can? Hmm. I suppose maybe this conversation would have enlightened us about Yavin 4 on the star map, but... Hmm. To the Ebon Hawk. Thank you. Bastelon, why didn't you tell me Candorus stole all my cookies? Let's go with yes. Kashik, we're going to Kashik. Get my notifications, Gonzo. Welcome to Kashik pre-empire Isabella your boyfriend's here. Actually, I have to stop yelling because my sister is doing important stuff my bad Isabella your boyfriend's here or rather Ayo Mariano's all these no, it's not Ayo. It's a um Oh yeah, Mariano's on his way. Oh, we get another vision. That's the Star Forge map. So it'll probably lead us to the one on Kashik, given the background change. More dark caves. I love it. Who said I had to take a nap during hyperspace? I feel like that's dangerous. At least put me in carbonite. Launch landing pad things. Bruno has a vision. Me. <gasps> the force has given us a, a vision, like the one we shared in Dantooine. Did you see it? Oh, there we go. Gasps in Karen. Yeah, that's a mood. Did you see it? Of course. You must have. The force is strong with us both. Kashek is a lush but simple and undeveloped world. I would not have expected to find the alien technology. You can't tell me they're undeveloped when they have laser crossbows, my guy. The Wookiees of Kashek make their home high among the Rosha branches. Only their bravest warriors dare to descend into the forbidding depths of the I love how every video game has skill to Kashyyyk because... Far beneath us on the planet's surface, as our vision seems to suggest, it's unlikely the Wookiees even know of its existence. No doubt things will become more clear once we discover the star map's location. I don't like them depicting the Wookiees as... Um... Primitive beings, it offends me. Uh, do I want to build? I think I'll bring Zen but Zalbar on today. I 
Chris Chewy. Yeah, okay. Uh, well, I'm pleased to welcome you to Planet G5623. I do not see your ship on my docking schedule. The Zerka Corporation will see to your needs, of course, but there will be a 100 credit docking fee in advance, I fear. Docking fee? How about remote and expensive to maintain? The 100 credits given will ensure that it remains here for your use, of course. Upon collecting of the correct fees, I will extend you what resources the Zerka Corporation could offer. I'm sure you understand. Uh, mm. <laughs> Whatever. Welcome on to the in trade designation G5623. Zerka Corporation welcomes your business. We should discuss your interest in my office. I see you have a wookie with you. Can I assume you understand their language? For fees, Zerka Corporation can provide a translator for you during your vision. I'm trained in the force, all no trouble. That will not be necessary. Very well. Though only the most adaptive people seem to comprehend the wookie language, such that as it is. Now then, please follow me to our information center. I'll answer your further questions there. I don't care about it. These guys are actually trying to rename this place? They're actually trying to colonize Kashik. I'd like to Ready. say breath for a thousand dollars, Alex. Hmm? What? Get me that footlock. Don't shoot it, you'll panic everybody. On it. Hey, right on, you made it out of terrace. How'd it yeah. go this time around? Fantastic, actually. Uh, we did not struggle with what's his face at all. On it. Um, I now have a, a pretty light. Oh, wow, easy. Easy peasy. Open that. Come on, Kashik. Maybe. Everybody's been fantastic. The build is working fantastically, Exile. I say fantastic a lot because it's true. I'm, I'm, it's been great. I even have Force Cure, which is just busted. How are you this morning? Morning? I don't know what time it is around your time, Exile. Today. How are you doing? Photo menu. Right on, man. Glad to hear it. Excellent. And dueling. Dueling, yeah. Wow, you're a jerk? Um, what do you do for Zeka? Uh, I'm actually not considered a real employee, at least not enough to get one of those uniforms they store around in. I'll just unload cargo. Uh, when a ship comes in, I work straight through the day, and we'll say I pass the time playing Pazak. Pazak? All y'all Rodians, I'm telling you. Let's go. It's a small wager to start, though, because I don't know how good you are. It's kind of a courtesy of new players. Low stakes for now. We'll raise them later. Sure, 75. Easy peasy. The other guy I fought, he had 750. You're easy. Let's go. Five, three, nine, six. Me and my unhealthy obsession with actually playing Pazic with everybody I run into. Bro, what the frickle? It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. I didn't waste any cards in my hand, so I'm set. Dare you. Ha <laughs> ha. No. I think that's a preferable outcome for me, really. Mans did not have a negative one. Excellent. Sorry, buckaroonie. Every time you play Pazak, you're at a disadvantage because you go first. Oh, that's disgusting. Uh, also disgusting. Man's just set, okay. Let's bet. I don't look. <laughs> Fair enough. What, the music just randomly start? Oh, whatever, man. Funny. I need a six. If I get a one, I... <laughs> I bet you get on that one. Sorry, that's the way the cards go. Just look at the draw, I guess. It's gotta be rough, but things can change fast. I wanna keep playing, I bet. Never quit on phones. Uh, that's a question about Kashik. What? Oh, you mean a DN? I suppose the Wookiees can call their planet whatever they want. The company pays the name of Rachel. <laughs> I'm about to go on a killing spree. I don't know much about it, though. I stay here in low cargo. You better off asking the patrol guards or Janos. Uh, running off planet rumors. I heard something about terrorists, but I didn't really know anyone from there, so I haven't paid attention. That's not bad. I just figured that everybody, whatever's going on, whatever's in charge will always, still always need someone to load crates. Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, so... <laughs> I 
I'm about to go on a corporate killing spree. Zerka sounds like they're about to- More like- Zerka sounds more like about to be extinct. Cash my home. I should have prepared you for coming here, but I don't know if I've prepared myself. What do you mean? Uh, I didn't leave Kashyyyk voluntarily. Mission must have told you how I was fleeing sla slavers, but there was more. I am in exile. Slavers on Kashyyyk only took me after I was forced to leave my village home 20 years ago. Oh dear, why were you forced to leave? Brother made deals with the slavers and allowed them to get a foothold. I found out and attacked him. The fight was stopped, but my father did not believe me when I told him about my brother's actions. I was made in exile. This is by my home and people. I should not be here. They will not accept me back. Uh, why did your father believe you? When I was talking to my brother, I was so mad. I used my claws. You don't understand what that means to wiki. Right, that's a big taboo if you're not using them for climbing. Claws are tools, not weapons. To use them in battles to become an animal, it is madness without honor. I am moreover, forever a mad claw in the eyes of my people. Nothing I say is to be trusted. They were right to cast me out. Uh, we'll deal with that when we have to. I don't have much hope. Uh, sorry, man. Right now, your planet is making me very sad because it's been uh, invaded. Matin Dassel. Greetings to you. Something I can get for you? Get the f direct your increase to me. Matin is merely an indebted employee. His opinions don't amount to <laughs> <laughs> So, new spaces have come to Wild Kashik. Please look well upon the wares of Eli Gand. I live. Just be sure to pay cash. Circa like Which the council can eat my entire like butt. Yep. Big vibes. Backside. First off, hearts are all backside. Secondly, I don't much like the comparison. No need to get per poor fellow. He's been waiting for his friends to return with my money for a standard month now. Ah, but if you don't need to hear this, what can I get you? Uh, do you always enslave your debtors? Slave? I resent that. Simply fair business. This man's fellow's left without settling their debts, so he must make up the difference. I know, I know, it's standard trading rules. I just want to know where my crew went. I was only gone Everything from this guy is pissing me off. Like that. Yes, very sad that they would abandon you, especially while you were doing me a favor and helping repair one of my friends. Bet you killed his friends. You think you know someone and they turn out to be a cheat. Oh, not like you, Matt. You honor your deals. A word is a bond in trade. You dead as have a... How much debt oh, buys a man's life? The amount. After all, as a skilled mechanic, Matten is worth much more than what is owed, especially on this remote planet. So why don't you let him go? Flatter me, Eli. I guess we're best buddies now. <clears throat> as I was saying, it's a matter of principle. I'm nothing if not honest in my dealings, and I demand the same. He'll be free to go when his friends turn up and the debt is paid. I honor my deeds. I'm I I get the feeling this guy went out and killed them behind. My Eli, uh, not Eli, Madden's back, and then he's like, oh, well, when they come back, you, you can go. Thanks, but no thanks. No offense, but there's no point in exchanging debt to Eli with debt to you. I don't believe in debt. Besides, he is a hard worker. I prefer to keep... I prefer your entire company to drop dead. What's your point? Uh, it happens from time to time. Credits are scarce out here, and not everyone is as honest as Mr. Dacel here. No, they're not. An honest man is pretty scarce too. Honest, okay. yeah. You'll get your money. My crew will be back. Of course they will. Until course then, however, will. I can make Sounds like he's telling the kid it'll be fine. Your goldfish to just went to the supermarket. Um. See you soon. I'm not buying garbage. Unless you have a contract in your inventory that allows me to free the other guy. Uh, Karth, finally, it's been a while. Yes, what's on your mind? What's on yours, man? Have I been quiet? I suppose I have. I guess I'm <clears throat> left out of the loop. Uh, uh, um, you were born out of the loop. I don't understand. Left out of the loop, you know, not being told anything strung along. It's really starting to irritate me. I feel you, man. I'm sorry. Don't get mad at me. I want to know what the Jedi Council said. Okay, he feels really angry sometimes. And I'm... To tell me a thing about it. I'm okay, I'm sorry. You know what went on and why they didn't keep you on Dantooine for training. Isn't that strange? Um. <clears throat> I guess the star maps. Why is that? You were a great help on Terrace, but why would they keep you with us? Don't they? Don't they have to train? You? Something suspicious. I mean, he's kind of right about that. He said there's a bond between. Bond. What kind of bond? You mean to say that they told you that you were tied to Bastila in some way? <laughs> the Jedi are strange. The Jedi are also full of garbage, but. Been saddled with the responsibility of tracking down these star maps. 
Why? That's not Vassal's also a Padawan. I just like to point that out. You to imply that you're somehow responsible for the Jedi Council, but give me a hand here. There has to be a reason. I want. Okay. Um. I'm here. At, okay. I'm sick of no. The Jedi doubled over. No, That's I don't. I didn't mean that you weren't wanted or that I want to go. It's just. Damn it. There are no good but options in dialogue with you, my guy. Fair, 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 fair. Yeah, we'll just see about that, won't we? Look, I didn't mean it that way. I want to get to Saul. Not... No, no, forget it. It just seems that all I can do is insult you, isn't it? You're not doing very forget great. I said anything. Let's let's just get on with what we were doing. Light side with greater good. Yup. We must destroy uh, the Goblet of Fire. Wait, no, wrong, wrong story. Oh, you put your name in the Goblin Fire. My name is Moana Montoya. Welcome to Adia. I trust you will find our facilities pass inspection. Zerka Corporation is very efficient. Welcome to Adia. You have nothing to be proud of. <laughs> Tell him. I'm sorry, I don't understand Wookie speak. Shiri Wook, I think it's called. What did the Wookiee say? <laughs> Zerka Corporation calls the planet Adean, and no, I don't understand. I will never that. say the word Adean to these people. It, so we don't need to. Doubled over the Cockney accent. I don't know what a Cockney accent is, actually. Decade, I wouldn't be able to... Like, I've heard it before, but I wouldn't be able to tell you, like... Uh, Wookiees are unable to speak, basically, for the last decade. Residents all look at you. have been trained to understand it. Um, it helps ease tensions. They are less hostile towards us if they understand what we Like, I've heard a cockney. I'd be able to tell you that it is an accent I've heard before. That makes my people more desirable as slaves. Blech. What did Disgusting. I don't usually have a translator I can ask. I, oh, my God. I just work here in the lab. I, I don't have any... I, uh, I was tempted with that third option of beating him with his legs. But I feel like that would unjustly for make Zal Zalbar look... Um, Aggressive. I don't have to justify. <laughs> yeah, you do. I do good work here. If you're looking for trouble, go somewhere else. How about? I'm conducting experiments on various samples of indigenous plant life. There may be untapped pharmaceutical resources here. Of course, that will take some time, and the Wookies are a more immediate source of income. Bruh! I must return to my work. I hate this guy. That's a spicy answer. Fair. Greetings again. How can Zerka Corporation serve you during your visit to Edean? Um, G5623 is a numerical designation. Galactic basic name is Edean. Chosen by corporate ballot among stockholders. Gross. We seem you are already acquainted with this world. You are your choice of traveling companion. I may have been away for a very long time. You let the beast speak for you? You allow it for more liberties than most of our customers. What do you mean? It means that they are slavers. They take my people from their homes and sell them to the highest bidders. Your current Wookiee seems displeased with the situation, but I failed to see your concern. You seem to be a satisfied customer. Zalbar is no slave. Not me personally. I merely represent Circuit Corporation at the South Pole. There are other directions that are the stations, of course. Arrangements have been made with the Wookiee leadership. Harvesting is handled as delicately as possible, relatively speaking. The one good thing that I'm seeing right now is that they're not depicting it anywhere near something acceptable um, uh, from our character's point of view. No matter, like, none of the dark side answers have been, ha, oh, hell yeah, slaves. Uh, it's all been anger at them for being just nasty. But uh, this is uncomfortable. This is absolutely freaking uncomfortable. I'm like this close to putting a trigger warning up. If it will ease your temper, it will give specific supply arms in exchange for supplies of healthy work. It's disgusting. Kept profitable and agreeable leaders kept in power. It keeps the process from becoming a constant fire. What the fudge? Leader's name is Chundar. I don't deal directly with them, thank goodness. Far too brutish. Oh my god, that's not a hair I wanted to hear. It sounds as though your thrall has an opinion upon our arranging with this leader, but it doesn't matter. Chundar is unquestioned. It's the matter, Zonbar. Uh, it's not something to talk about now yet. Uh, is there anything else I have work to do? So Chundar is probably his brother. So 
Sorry, I have no information on that. Are you sure you meant to come here? This world is very primitive. Much of it is still on explored even by the locals. Forest gets even more dangerous the further you descend. The lowest levels of Shadow Lands are largely unknown. Alright, bye, loser. Uh, yeah, 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 I want this man dead. I want this corporation out. I hope that's part of the storyline that's going to be followed because uh, the corporation is obviously not present in other media. It's not in the Star Wars movies. It's not, oh, man, it's not in here and they had to add it. That's gross. It's disgusting. They literally saw... Oh my god. They saw a... Shoot. They saw a whole species based off, like, using tribal slash native values and, and, and stuff. And they chose to make them slaves in this game. And I find that incredibly unpleasant and just distasteful. Um, yuck. Hold here, Spacer. Zerka Corporation doesn't recommend traveling in wild Adean. Katarn attacks are especially bad right now. Yeah, Most I know it's 2003. That doesn't make it any less distasteful, but... I think but... they leave certain areas infested, just hoping a Zerka guard can kill. My opinion on it, I need to... I feel... I, I, I feel the need to make it very clear. I'm not a fan of what they did, but... If I get to destroy the Corporation, I'm gonna be a little less upset about it, but... Yikes. You are the Wookiee lover. Why don't you tell me? Oh my God! Uh, Bust his uh, mm -hmm. eggs. Keep your pet on a leash, or you'll be wearing him. I have no love for these. Good. I've seen Talking like that. I don't take kindly to threats. Don't. That's right. You <laughs> fight me, bro. Oh hey, Kinrath. We fought them before. Um. And now we can actually see what they look like. Also, Wookiees in this game are inherently like less powerful than other races for whatever reason. Uh, because they can't wear like implants and certain armor. Zalbar needs a weapon. Let's fix that. There we go. Oh yeah, well, Zalbar needs stuff. So he can't wear any equipment. The man and energy shield. Uh, what, what's your feats, my guy? Level 10, you got feats, right? Um. Oh, he can wear implants. My bad. His stats are nuts. Good stuff. Melee weapons. Okay, so he's good at the melee stuff, not the guns. Okay, so let's fix you up, my guy. I've got a vibroblade for you that I have upgraded. Uh, reflex is 4 2. Let's go, let's tank him up. Um, I will not do that. Tank him up, I said. Cardio regulator gives him more con. Do I have anything that adds more than more con? No, good. Can't do that because he's a wookie. Uh, but we do have strike on. Let's give it to him. Okay, cool. You want to give him two swords and a strike on. Two swords? He doesn't have dual. I mean, he does do have tool, dual wielding, but he doesn't. Oh, he doesn't have dueling, though. Okay. Yeah. We'll give him two swords. Uh, so we'll give him missions fire blade, too. Get him. Two weapon fighting. Excellent. Zalbar, let's mess this whole planet up. You ready for, like, an actual murder spree regarding corporate fogies? Because I am. He says, the wind, the sound, the smells. I feel it all now that we are away from the spaceport. Walkway is new. Probably built by the slavers, but I remember the trees. My village is not far from here. Uh... Is there anything I can help you with? It is kind of you to offer. My poems are very personal. I'm not sure if I'm ready to do with them. I must warn you one thing. I don't know if I will be of help or hindrance to you here. My father is very powerful, a chieftain. Perhaps it's feelings of metals, but if my brother is here all this time, I may be very well unwelcome. We'll deal with what... Okay. That's what I'm dreading. My shame was meant to be forgotten on some faraway world. I never thought I'd come back. I'm sorry. I've taken up of your time. We should press on. Uh, okay. Well, let's go with the frag mine. I don't think I'm going to like these people. This isn't good. I can't afford this. No, bread. Do you know what they get for a healthy one of those things? We'll work it out later. We've got company. What do you want, Spacer? I'm Patrol Captain Denno, and you're interrupting <laughs> the corporation business. This Wookiee slave got a little rebellious. We had to put it down. That's right. We had to do it, and it shouldn't come out of our pay. Just shut up, you trigger-happy idiot. Of course they don't. 
would you ask me that? Doing some sort of snap inspection? You're trying to get me to admit to incompetence, aren't you? Not going to happen. I stand by my patrol. This Wookiee got out of hand and had to be put down. Find another easy enough. Oh my god. Is that a joke? Who do you think you are? What? Blasters ready, men. This fool wants to die. Absolutely. No, bro. I got bad news for you, you physical embodiment of K Cobb. Get out of here. Get him, Wookiee man. Mess him up. Oh. Vindication. Loot him for good measure. Oh, nice. Bad little sword. Anything else? Just. <sighs> That's nice. <laughs> give me the give me the frag mine. I can sell it. It's great. Uh, they killed this thing, I guess, because I didn't do that. Man, I'm gonna save that game. Okay, cool. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. 2003. I feel like, I feel like this kind of, this, this section needed one of those Warner Brothers, like, Looney Tunes heads up things, you know, you know what I mean? Like, oh, this is the product of its time. Check your text, ma'am. Come on, I'm check my text, you know I'm not gonna answer. Okay. Did you need to, okay, hold up a sec, I think we're gonna have to... Check my stuff for a bit. Do you need to pay now? Oh dear. Okay. Yeah, that's a lot of money. That I want. Ah, oh, shoot. Okay, go back. To check my bills a second here. What do I have on hold here? Oh my god. Okay, um. Do some math. It's gonna be a fun time. Um. Just paid, okay. Okay. Well, the good news is we're probably gonna have enough for the movie tonight. In my transactions, it'll be a butt ton and a half, correct? Yeah, okay, good. Um, oh, I'm not sure we're gonna have enough for the movie. It's fine, we'll figure that out when we get there. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, yeah, my credit card just told me we hit the limit. Yikes, $335 for disgusting. Whatever. Dental care. What was that thing called? Michael? Michael? Is that a mushroom? Oh, it's a flying thing. Okay, gotcha. Apologies. Um, 
My paycheck just went down the drain, essentially. Yo, where's my cursor, please? Hello? Okay. You asked for I love not being able to see where I'm clicking. I can't see if I want to heal or not. You know what I'm saying? Okay, hold up. There we go. Ah, see, so you're a big guy. Probably use that toys. Right? No, I can't. Not enough MP. I did not want to do that. I wanted to do this. You guys are kind of soft. Um, they hit hard, though. <laughs> ah, construction kit. Don't know what that is. Okay, uh, logic dictates this probably with the mess uh, the, 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 the villagers. Uh, Growl, you're not permitted to pass through the Shadowlands. Only Chandra will allow you entry. Especially when you bring filth such as this with you. My has no place here. Who are you to question my place? You follow, Ch you follow Chandar into the arms of outsiders, and yet you travel with outsiders yourself. Speak no more. Chandar will decide if you are permitted to enter the Shadowlands. What is that about? I should proceed to the village. I'm sure we'll both get answers there. Yeah, well, Chandar... Okay, wait. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Pretty sure Chandar is his brother. I do like that they actually incorporated the, uh, the character's side stories into the story a little bit. I kind of feel like these are the things we see in the Mandalorian when they're frozen in the ice cave, but I'm not convinced. Supply station. Navigation recognized. Epic. Oh, okay, we can just open these now. Ah, that's pretty good though. Hey, right, we get advanced med, med stuff. Nice. Freaking force power boost. Let's go. Bing, bing, bong, bong, bing, 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 bing. We haven't leveled up in a lot of stream. <laughs> we leveled up like three times last time. Oh, we're pretty close. Yeah, we'll just keep fighting. We'll get there. The Dark Jedi. Okay, hold up. I kind of wanted to save first. But Lord okay. Malak was most displeased when he learned you had escaped Taris alive. I'm going to die, aren't I? a great reward to whoever destroys you. Oh, uh, knock yourselves up, my guys. Purple? That is canonically a Mace Windu only thing. What are you doing? Oh god. Um. Oh, can I heal? I said I'd die. Yo, actually though, what the heck? What's the disengage button again? Oh no, he's dead. Never mind. Wow, I got ravaged. Um, so methinks maybe not fight with them just yet. Uh, all right, well we got rid of some nonsense here a little bit. It's fine. Um, I feel like Kashik might not be the best area for this. I wish they'd give us like a bit of a, a recommended area kind of thing, like level thing, but I guess with the way that you can build stuff, it doesn't really check out that much. Okay. Alright. We'll try that again. I'm not quite sure what to do with that. Uh, we kind of went in going gung ho, didn't use any shields or anything, so let's see what that does. Uh, I'm aware that we're supposed to be a little better off than we were last time, but that does not make us invincible. None of the force bars that could totally use are useful to them. Um.
These things really do hit hard. I'm thinking maybe I'm a little under level for this section. I don't know if that's actually a factor in this game. Right, um, okay, check the corpse. More Kinrat that way, that's where the Wookiee was. He really does hit like a freight train. We stand. By the way, killing the, the slavers mate gave us light side points, which I'm a huge fan of. Times two, med packs, lots of good stuff. Uh, okay. So we don't have a choice but to fight them. They kind of attack us no matter what. Because um, because the Revan slash Malik, Malik, Malik has a. I keep saying Revan. It's Malik has a, a yucky boo boo on us. Um, oh, we can't just leave. I love it. No, no noise. Why would you make the noise during my stremmas? I've been so careful not to scream it. Just hear my mom cussing out the dog from her room. Do, 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 do. Ding, 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 bong, bong, bing. Ling dingy liggy bing dong blong. Okay, I'm not going to be reading all this. Sorry, Ada, if you're watching, I don't have the time to focus on that whilst I'm streaming. It is a status report on your dentist appointment and unfortunately, eat my shorts. Harry Potter, but he's raised by Bruce Wayne. What? He'd actually have a moral code? Incredible. Can we go in here and just kill everybody? I like that idea. Hey, you. If you've got business with Zerker Corporation, take it to the director's office. I don't have business with them. I definitely have issues with them, though. I just carry a blaster. The captain does the talking. Where's the captain? Here. Why do you keep bothering me? Questions. Make it quick. Don't get in my way, you wind up. Mm. I don't talk to Wookiee lovers. Get rid of your rug. Wow. You are the Wookiee love. Keep your... Not anymore. Look, you want when they rip your head off, we'll fish it out of the. Sh yeah, 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 yeah. These people. What are my light type points looking like? Oh, we getting real maxed out. Okay, What's my XP looking like? No, it's a decent amount. We can come back and level up later. You think these guys would be a little like spooked by the fact that the Jedi are getting involved? No. Maybe we can uh, talk I to Matt. You better talk to Eli for the time being. Put a bullet in his head. Uh, there again? What valued until you can't pay? What well, you hurt me, Matt? It's a. Psst. I feel like there's a side quest to be had there, and yet here we are. No, my I've clicked off the screen again. We suffer for our mistakes. Fear me, for I will cry. 
Can I, can I, I can't actually. Transit disabled, that's bizarre. Do I have to pay the 100 credits every time I land here? Because that's actually god awful if that's the case. Um, well, for the moment, let me on to my dark shit that I can't see on. Uh, you know what? We've got a free side quest we can kind of complete. Not really, I don't think it's going to be a completion, but we're going to go back to Dantooine. I... John, why would you say something so cursed? Good for him? Bad for him. I can't get him. What a dog. Grapefruit method. Why must you say these things? <laughs> Sorry. It's like you don't even know me. Bruh. That was like at the back of my mind for, for like... <laughs> I hate that I know what you're talking about. <laughs> we get a vision that is not of Kashik. See, when I played Dragon Age Origins, I know that a lot of the stuff was kind of evenly leveled around the time you started it. With some exceptions, I think. I think. I'm not convinced, but I think. Um, also, Dragon Age Origins was also a little more, like, playable in a way that, like, I could cheat the game and beat a boss by myself by stealthing, surviving hits, or dodging their AoEs and then just stabbing them in the back because I was a rogue. Um, but this game is not... Uh, presenting itself this way. Another vision. The Force is guiding us, helping us retrace the steps of Malak and his old master, leading us ever closer to the Star Forge. It is strange that anyone would have built a star map here. The entire surface of Manan is covered by nothing but... Oh, Manan is like Camino. Okay. Possible. The melting of polar caps or a cataclysmic earthquake could have buried the land beneath the waves eons ago. Records from that time are incomplete. What's new? The ocean floor is vast and much of it is uncharted, even by the native Selkar. How could the Selkar, that's why. No doubt things will become more clear once we discover the star map's location. Right. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hop off planet. Not off planet, off my ship. Can I zoom out? No? That's as uncomfortably close. Uh, I'm gonna hop off the ship, see if we're gonna get our butts kicked in this place as well. And if we are, I don't know what I'm gonna do. It's that part of the game. Uh, Selkath. Selkath, huh? She's a guardian sentinel. Wow, we got three, because I'm counselor. Um, she's the only red one in the game so far. Oh, you're considered light side. I thought you'd be a little more balanced, like maybe gray. Uh, when in doubt, just grab these two. What is that clip called? <laughs> Dang it, I don't have access to it. <laughs> Manan Docking Bay, okay. So uh, let me guess, we got Aqualus here. Public people are so pathetic. Oh boy. Groveling at the table scraps the galactic senators deigned Separatists to give before they were it cool? Makes me sick. The senators work for the good of the whole galaxy, not for individual gain. Ha! Don't make me laugh, you gutless simp. It's the destiny that we <laughs> He said simp before simp was a freaking meme. Like we sit. I'm warning you. Don't push me or you'll get just what you're asking for. Try it. Just try it. I'd love it. 
to see you through the first battle. And with all the cameras around, the cell cat would be all over and Grave for Method are both considered inappropriate titles. <laughs> really? scum. But I can see that you're not man enough to back up your words anyway. They censored grapefruit method. Worthless existence. Feel free to come by our enclave here. We have many, many ways to fulfill your wish. So this is Sith territory. Yeah, what are you? Oh, I apologize, Master Jedi. I should not have been rude. Um, it's all right. No, really. I should apologize. I, I should try to control myself. Nah, bro. As you Jedi. You're not a Jedi, Is there so don't bother. I can help you with? Uh, why well, did they well, say these so? damn Sith are everywhere on Manan, pushing us for public citizens around, trying to goad us into breaking the law somewhere. Manan would be neutral. neutral. Yeah, I feel like it would be neutral. Yeah, the Selkath want to maintain their neutrality in this war we're fighting with the Sith. Galactic Switzerland? It very strictly. So, we just have to sit here and let the Sith insult us and we can't raise a hand against them. Otherwise, the Republic will face severe Kolto export restrictions. And that could lose us the war altogether. What's Kolto, my dude? <laughs> You're joking. Answer the question! I'm sorry, but everyone knows what Kolto is. It's the most powerful healing agent in the galaxy. I would have died several times myself if we didn't have this stuff handy. But the reason it's important here is that Kolto is only found naturally on Manan, and all of our attempts to synthesize it have failed miserably. So, we sit here on the surface, the Selkath harvesting what Kolto bubbles up from the bottom of the ocean, and we buy it from them. Well, us and the Sith, of course. The Selkath don't want to play favorites. The Selkath think that by staying neutral, they can play both sides, selling Kolto to everyone that needs it, and making themselves too valuable to be worth conquering. Well, that, and they threaten to destroy the only natural source of Kolto on the planet <laughs> there if anyone is. tries to attack them. But I think they're underestimating the length the Sith will go to to get what they want. They're probably planning something already. Is there anything mm, else you require? I don't know, man. A star map? Like an ancient artifact or something? Yeah, exactly no, that. I'm sorry, I've never heard of it. Oh, of course not. You're the first person I meet. No one would know. Um, what about um, Alta City? It's big. Real big. Actually, it's pretty much the only real city on the entire world. The only place for us air breathers, anyway. Manan is a water world, which you may have noticed on your way down to land here, inhabited natively by a species of fish people called the Selkath. They built <coughs> to cater to us. I expect them to look like seals. A base of operations to export culture, which Nomenclaturally is based off of Selkies. Oh, why would they join the, the Republic? Think that by staying neutral, yeah, we've already answered that, that question. Is there an oh, never mind. I got oh, okay. have a pleasant. Thank you. I'm not a master. Um, I'm barely a Padawan. Pretty sure, uh, yeah. Don't talk to me, merchant. Thank you. Are you, actually, are you a Sawcath? Oh, okay. They don't not look like seals, I guess. Some life pods here. Jibasa. Oh, did I? How can I help? Something you want to ask me? I do. How did you know? Uh, your face is all scrunched up like a Kenrath button. <laughs> Rip. An amusing description, but hardly the truth. We both know the real reason. No, 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 Bastilla. No. Mm, no, I doubt it. <laughs> no, that's not what I'm that's not what I'm dying. Why don't you just answer the question? And what I feel within you troubles me. A Padawan must receive considerable training. They must learn to control No, bestie. Often it takes years before using the force can be considered safe. The fact that you are so strong in the force and have had such relatively little training could have terrible consequences. For Surely you, I'll never sink to the dark side. <laughs> Blink once for dark side, twice for light. <laughs> I don't think there's much you can do. If things were different, I would recommend several years of training under one of the Jedi Masters. But I fear that won't be possible. Thankfully, you've exhibited a degree of compassion and self-control up to this point. Maybe you were dark side. Like, would I be corrupting Bastilla too? In the future, we must all resist the influence of the dark side. It's everything. Blinks forty-two times. That is a multiple of two. So, oh wait, it's also a multiple of one. Also, nice joke. Reference, I think. The proper training, however, is it Blink 42? Is it Blink 1? You will find the path difficult, even with the best of intentions. 
There is great danger ahead for both of us. Our destinies are intertwined. Everything one of us does will have consequences for the other. Any reckless behavior on your part is likely to affect me as well. Okay. I believe you truly mean what you say. For now, sometimes it is not so easy to keep such promises. Your power Lyman could be affects your party members. Oh. When you need guidance or advice or support, I will do my best to help you stay on the path of the light. I only hope I have the wisdom to help you through the dark times. But for now, we should return to our mission. Yeah, man. I mean, you're the one who I... Uh, greetings! Forgive me if this seems an odd question, Offworlder, but might you have any exotic species for sale? Nothing dangerous, mind you. What kind of exotic species? Anything non-sentient and non-carnivorous will do. The creatures that are easy to manage are preferred. Is that understandable? What about animals? Uh, good question. The cell cats have little exposure for life from other planets, you see, but our government hopes to change that. We are setting up a zoological compound for visitation by the public and are hoping to stock it with non offensive foreign creatures of all time. The only problem right now is actually procuring the exotic species we need. Cell cats import restrictions are quite prohibitive, to say the least. You know, smuggle them in. I would not use such a harsh world off holder. Let us say that we are interested in engaging in private trade. It is allowed according to our laws. Finding off worlds that deal in such trade is most difficult. However, I have become quite desperate. Why do you have what I seek? Nah, sorry. Well, if you do come across something potentially interesting, remember me. My name is Nubasa. I hope to see you again. Okay, so didn't even give us a side quest. Docking Bay 26B. What do you got, baby? What's the door? Leaving out the city security zone. Cameras deactivated. Is this where the water comes in and we just die? Swoosh. This is the cameras were off, which means I could murder people if I wanted to, but we're not we're not playing Grifflands. So. Enough time to listen to your stories. Got a full shipment of Hulk ready to load before my shift is over. Nice, bro. No, didn't ask. Ah, West Central. Okay. West Central. <laughs> Left leaning. Security droids. There's a nice pool here. Very nice. Obi Wan series looking good. Yeah, is it out yet? I know Boba Fett just ended. Well, dude. Don't talk to me. Welcome to Manan. While you're here, I trust you will follow all the rules governing the activities of all four of those. Uh, what are the rules? Uh, it's very simple. Kolto smuggling is punishable by death. If you're carrying an Umbrasa Skolko, you'll better have- okay. Shell jump. Ah, okay, cool, 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 cool. Perfect. Uh, other rule is also very simple. Keep the peace here in Manan. We maintain a careful neutrality. We react very harshly. People will jeopardize our neutral status. Any confrontation between the Sith and Republic are dealt with swiftly and decisively. I understand. So dock if you 100 credits, you'll have to pay this fee each time you dock on Manan, or you will not be permitted into Ato City. Uh, sure. Or returns of strength to you. Here is a visitor guide and map to the city. For to which you have any questions. My gates, the gates to Ato City are now open to you. You may come and go as you please, as long as you do not leave the planet. If you do, you'll have to pay. Ah, close. It's docking fee. Here, docking fee on cash. Just seeing screenshots. Ah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Fair, fair, fair. Well, I'm stuck on nothing again. And we complained a lot about Borderlands 3's glitches, but... No, I think Borderlands 3 still has this game beaten. I'm just gonna walk around with my saber out, so people can just pick a fight with me if they want to, you know what I'm saying? I need to get to the underwater anyway, there's no cult there. Froze again, the curse it! That is my most prominent issue, and I feel like that's not necessarily something I can blame the game on. However, let's just say it doesn't do this with Amori. Or Halo. Uh, oh my god, my party's right there for real. Bastila? Bastila! What are you doing, Bastila? Thank you.
Republic negotiator. So, do we have a deal? That's an awful lot of money. Is there something you're not telling? Oh, he's bad at negotiating. The Republic is generous. We pay our mercenaries well. Makes sense, I guess. All right, I'm in. When do I? No, this sounds suspicious. Just show up at the Republic Embassy tomorrow and speak to our representative there. I'm sure I'll have some task he wants you to start on right away. Sure. Actually, can I talk to this guy? Slicked in. Apparently, Kotar's coming to switch. Yeah, they're the remaking it. Public recruiting drive right now. I need to hire these mercenaries before they. In case you hadn't noticed, there's a war. <laughs> PC again, but updated. Yep, they're remaking it. Like I said, someone told me to wait until they remade it to stream it. I'm not. I'm not buying it full price. <laughs> I wasn't sure I was gonna like this game uh, at all. Um, based off the fact that I, I have hard time with that kind of RPG, like Dragon Age. Even Mass Effect, I, I enjoyed up to a certain extent, but um, I felt that the difficulty the spike was just completely unreasonable. City, Your Honor, but the Sith are a violent people who leave violence in their wake. I have three soldiers in the infirmary. If the Republic soldiers were more capable, what? they would not have suffered such serious injuries. Are my soldiers to be punished simply because they want to fight? Yeah, but John, we both know we don't necessarily have, like, matched up likes. The Sith are cowards who attack only when they have the advantage of numbers. Aware of the Republic's indignation, however, witness reports clearly state your Republic soldiers were as willing to engage in violence as the Sith in this case. Right, they click. were provoked, Your Honor. The Sith goaded them into this fight. Taunts and threats are not sufficient provocation in the eyes of this court. Words can be ignored, which is what your men should have done. I find both the Republic and the Sith to be equally at fault for this breach of peace. I should throw all parties involved into the Atto City Jail, but since no Selkath were harmed in the conflict, I will show mercy and levy a fine of 10,000 credits to both sides. The court is dismissed, though I warn you that further disturbances will not be viewed with such leniency. Okay. Don't waste time when individuals are not involved in my legal jurisdiction. Do not disturb me. Fair enough. Republic citizens are welcome on a Manon. Official inquiries should go through the proper channels. Oh, I don't. What did you say? Judge Shellcar can answer question all four of those during normal hours. Okay, Shellcar, you say? If it weren't for the Republic, Manon would already be under Sith control. But we haven't heard one word of thanks from the Shellcar. I don't like this mentality. So shut your gob. The Sith might be goading you into fights and doing all that garbage, but you're not better if you think you're better. One day soon, the Selkath will pay for the indignities they have inflicted on the Sith. Uh, Your Honor, um, I see a cancer in your court, I and mean, my recommendation is immediate excision. On behalf of the Selkath government of Manan, it is my task today to answer the needs of all foiled citizens of both the Republic and the Sith Empire. If you have legitimate agreements with another party, then you should speak to me. If you should first, however, consult with many with the Republic Embassy before pressing formal charges. Is there anything you should bring to my attention? How did you know I was from the Republic? Ship registry is originally from the Republic World of Trans. I, uh, therefore, you're a Republic citizen. Okay, Davik, gotcha. Or are you saying you stole your ship? Uh, no, no, perfectly legitimate. Is there more you need? Is there a star map on this world? A star map, not precisely. Manan holds many wonders and exciting locales and treasures. Uh, Colton, not the least of them. Our many ships and boulevards cater to the women of any species and provide a vibrant nightlife that has been seen that we believed. That's another tourist paraphernalia can be had from your local embassy. Do not waste my time with it. I have no more questions, Your Honor. Go enjoy Alta City and do not break any laws that we would have locked you up for. If you don't lock me up for breaking a certain law, can I, can I break it? Is it against the law to dip Sith's warriors into carbonite baths? Yes. What if I were to also dip may not seem very hospitable, uh, same rank Republic uh, official into the same carbonite bath? This guy has a name. My uh, game broke? Okay. Human, I wish to speak to you if you have the time. I'm trying to speak to you. Uh, greetings, human. My name is Nico Bloss. I hope you're enjoying yourself here in Otto City. Your floating city is beautiful, it's not. But if it's set of carbonite, just hear me out. <laughs> uh, it's a wonder to behold. Two graces, human. Beauty of Manana is delicate. Ecosystem complex and fragile. I fear the preservation of my planet. Sulfuric acid. Oof. There's a task I would ask, human Jedi. I fear there's nowhere else I can turn. What do you want me to do? Uh, there will be ample reward for this human or require information, nothing more. Republic has been hiring mercenaries, many more than usual. As an official of the Sukkath people, this is a great concern to me. Only seek the reason for this change in public policy. 
I didn't feel this. I cannot trust anyone else. The Republic obviously wants me to keep their secret. I have required oftenness of their purpose. I have been rebuffed. The Sith cannot be trusted to give me an accurate report of events. They will twist the truth that it furthers their own goals. Mercenaries are well aware of the high wages the Republic is paying. They will not report anything that might show the flow of credits in their accounts. For the truth behind the Republic's action, I will pay you 500 credits. I'm uncomfortable with spying on the Republic, but if, if we could assure the South Cat that they mean no harm... Just not like for long. It's long enough to like... And what if the Republic boil their skin off? Harm? Submerge them? Will you tell them? The Republic did mean harm to the Cellcath, then I want to know what the Cellcath did to provoke it. How very noble of you. He's biased. Please, see if you can find the answers I seek. Find why the Republic is hiring so many mercenaries. Find where they're going. Find they do not return. Why do they do not return? Sure. Once you discover some information, please come speak to me. Believe it or not, I am a friend of the Republic. Whatever the truth, I shall do my best to protect the Republic's interests and those of the Cellcath, of course. You right, buddy. Let's go see. First things first, we'll talk to the negotiator, I think. Do you mind? I'm in the middle of a republic uh, in case you happen to know war, okay, yeah, can I ask something else? I don't know if you've got what we're looking for. Jedi are generally Jedi suited, are generally oh. suited to right, mercenary work. Then bring him up to first. Roland one at the Not Republic right Embassy and see if he can find anything for you. Okay. It's north of here, just east past the first courtyard. It's just off the north end of the second courtyard. You can't miss it. Now if you'll excuse me. All right, all right, all right. So we got directions. How do they know for Jedi? I hope you're here to play some Pazak. I don't. Sure, man. So lay your credit. Yay, dogs! That's a pretty decent, decent hand, I think. I think. I, I... Oh, it's probably the other dog trying to get inside. Ah, oh, shoot. Minus six. Bonkers. C'est probablement l'autre qui essaie d'entrer. Okay, no. I don't have a two. Haha. <laughs> Ha. Okay, good. He's just wasting all his cards. Sure thing, man. Zero strats. What the frick? Interesting decision, my friend. But I win. What the? Am I blessed by the gods in this room? What the? Okay. I was like, what the heck? What? The force is actually giving me all the power. That soothing music from the, the, the planet's gone. What? Okay. Oh, we're fine. He's got no hand, so he has to bet on, like, actual luck. Um... Okay, fine. Garbage. We got negative threes and negative twos. So we're set for a bit. Never mind, we're set. Again, this is the third time this entire match that I've been able to do that twice. Thanks for the money. I do, um, but uh, don't care. Okay, but you're not for hire. Bottom of the ocean. Okay, fine. 
are part of Calrian. Yo, why do you have each y'all each oh, wow. Except that the Achani are a bunch dancers. Of dancers prancing in a battle with tiny weapons not fit for You think that maybe that wouldn't be something they mention the outside of Earth, because that feels like very earthen. thing where they don't tell you what they're doing is kind of sus. If there ever were any rooms. Okay. I'm a realist. It was war after all. Fair enough. All these NPCs look the same. Destroyed my people. The leaders of the Armada were Revan and Malik. So I hate the Sith just as much. And with this war, there's plenty of opportunity to take bloody vengeance against both sides and make a nice profit along the way. Hello. That's going decent, I think. Um, that that took a lot of out of our budget, but yeah. Sorry, they were talking about fitting me with the night plate too, which is six hundred, but they suggested to wait. Until Forget about that. Just to wait till we're covered, because when we're covered, they'll cover up to ninety percent of it usually. Usually. Yeah. So why are you telling? And they said that it's one man from the crunching my teeth. So if I have a knife plate, I'll stop crunching my teeth as much, which will right. stop the bone growth. But if that one gets any bigger, because of how sensitive it is and how little gum is above it, I will have to get it removed and then it'll just grow back or shave it down. So. Yeah, well, we might have like. But that requires me going to the specialist. Okay, well, for now. I said I was gonna do so they're not gonna remove anything? Oh, and three of my wisdom teeth aren't coming out. They're slightly sideways. And they're not, they're stuck. So they would charge you $300 for a cleaning? Clean the neck brace. And they're. Oh. Their verdict was just don't clench or get a surgery that costs $600. Okay, well, it's gonna have to wait a while yeah. for sure. Copper, can you not do the begging thing? Um, the thing handed, however, you just went out. Yeah, he went out this morning, too. I completely took care of him this morning. But You're not getting any food. I'm getting food. Um, they did say that um, we can take today's appointment, put it on our income tax, and have it backdated for the insurance. Oh, for this, like, this year's insurance? Yeah. I'm not insured. Oh, no, no, they mean we can get it back. Okay, I get yeah, it. Yeah, it can be back done. For next year? Mm-hmm. Okay. For when we're insured. Yeah, okay. Eh, uh, heckin' rip. Yep. And um. I have to go back in a year to do another cleaning. They said I was lucky because it's been, like, seven, eight years since I've had a cleaning that my teeth are in as good condition as they are. There is some hardening that looks like um, the beginning of what can become a cavity really quickly. They said about 12 teeth. Um, but I've had those for a really long time, so they're like, they might not be active, but keep on top of it because there's hard and plaque there. Yeah, so brush your teeth. Yeah, well, brush my teeth right at the bottom of my gums because otherwise that's going to develop into cavities and they're like, you don't want to do 12 cavities at once. Um, and... The back of my gums are on the bigger teeth, that's why I have some arthritis, because um, normally brushing is okay, but the gaps in the back are too much, they're too tight, so I have to brush them too But other than that, they're like, you need to take care of your teeth, so it's like, you're fine. Okay. Um, 
Can you do me a favor? I'm starving. I was hoping for a sandwich. Right now. Oh, sweet sandwiches. Hmm. All right. Oh, we gotta find his daughter. Yeah, I know. I haven't had the time to read it. I cannot dismiss the connection. The Sith are up to something here, and something sinister. I can feel it. Yeah. I'm hoping that we'll have enough money for the movie tonight. Looks <laughs> like I can turn to you. Public agents are closely watched by the Sith. The Auto City authorities cannot act without proof of mom. Copper, you're not getting my sandwich, dude. Not a business thing. I think I've got like thirty dollars. I'll do the math. To find his missing daughter. Fair enough. Bartender. Greetings, human. There are a few places in Auto City where all folders are welcome, but they are at least tolerated. Pretty busy spending my time conversing. I must Okay. Well, he doesn't sound like. He's very friendly. Dwan, this man has a lady has a name. Wow, you're kind of rude. We might have a position within the Sith organization for once. They're also getting mercenaries. Your offer is pretty good, but I've heard some nasty things about you, Sith. Is it true you bomb Taras into dust? Yes, it is. In war, certain distasteful acts cannot be avoided. But ask yourself this: When we win the war, would you rather be against when we win the war. or with us? You make a good point, and I've never turned down a job that pays up front. I'm pretty sure the uh, Republic pays up front too. Tomorrow for your assignment. Both of them are hiring. Huh? I have no desire to speak to you. I know you have links to the Republic. How? I'm literally waiting. Okay, I guess Davik is. bird but then she also noticed that when I bite down then it might be inflamed because my teeth touch those down. Oh you have like a bit, a bit of overbite? Yeah I have a bit of an overbite. Um, so. Ew there's an eggshell in that. Ew. <laughs> Ew. Get lost bro. No begging. What? Mmm. Why do you want my switch? I'm walking on eggshells. Oh no. What? I think I saved. You can go. Yeah, you literally just said you needed to do something. Put the switch down and package it first. He's like, come back and pick up the Twitch afterwards before you get distracted for hours. I know you. Eat the Switch. <laughs> I hate that that runs with Eat the Rich. <laughs> oh. Hello? Your precious Republic's days are numbered. We'll be long until Malak turns his armada loose on Coruscant itself. Savior Even the Separatists couldn't get to Coruscant. Malak isn't stupid enough to attack the Same dip. world. Same dip. Now with the entire Republic fleet waiting for him. You're a fool. When the Sith descend on Coruscant, our numbers will block out the sun itself. Sounds like some fanatic garbage. Collapse, trembling in fear, and beg for mercy and Manic's feet. He's wrong, but... Don't underestimate the Republic's resolve. We'll die before we surrender Coruscant. That can be arranged. Remember what happened to Tarry. Malak could do... Sorry, Nick. <laughs> Tim Curry did it better. Like the way they move when they talk. Looks like they're about to bust out into Fortnite dancing. Ba -da -ba -ba -da. 
Put him in the middle, check out the everywhere, but you chose to speak with me. Am I so different? Do I even do you think I have answers that others do not? That's a rather strange reading. A strange time. Sith and the Republic battle to control the galaxy, but their war destroys what they both seek to possess. The war sows fear and confusion, but people are lost. They want guidance, direction, they have questions, they want answers. That's why I'm here. I too seek answers. To what? The war, everything, nothing. Answers are always the hardest to find when the questions are unclear. But that does not stop us from searching. Who are you? Name, there's power in names, and in the end, a name alone means less than nothing. I'm Hulas, a traveler from the world of Juro. What is your name, human? Mr. Bell. Now we know something about each other, but really, we still know nothing. What do you want with me, human? Uh, I don't care enough, actually. Shady Rodian. He's shady because he's wearing shades. Tie bar charm. Okay, we got a name shopkeeper. Ba -da -ba -ba -da. Bro, I don't know what this battle meditation is, but she has not used it in combat one time yet. Hey, this street is for Sith only. You gotta pay a twenty credit total. To I out. dare you to attack me, nerd. Hiding behind the cell cat laws. Typical Republic cowards. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? I can't believe you're following the laws of this planet. <laughs> Yo, absolutely. Where's the where's the swoop race? Let me do that for sure, man. <laughs> the Republic can wait. Those kidnapped children, they can wait. I want to go swoop racing. Oh yeah, baby. Swoop race. Vec. Greetings, human. Have you come here to watch the swoop races? I find they are an excellent way to release stress. And in my business, I need all the stress relief I can get. My name is Vec. I work for Itharak Goldar, a merchant who deals in very rare and expensive art. He serves as a go between for buyers and sellers throughout the galaxy. So, Itharak's security advisor. Highly demanding job. The fact that Itharak seems to delight in insulting and berating me makes it even more difficult. You with the Sith? Uh, to be honest, no, not really. I just wear the uniform to gain respect. People are less likely to give me trouble than they think I might be the Sith. I think the Sith might take exception to that. Well, maybe, I guess, but the Sith here on Minan aren't about to do anything to get them in trouble. None of it means that getting sanctions against their cult will sit. As long as I don't actually say I'm with the Sith, they don't need to be seem to mind. So I use this outfit to give me the psychological edge I need. Being other security advisor isn't easy. I can't even begin to imagine how hard it is dealing with the galaxy's cultural elite. They're like spoiled children throwing tantrums and everything don't get their way. The Vec is the worst of them all. You idiot, Vec. How could you be so stupid, Vec? You think my job is easy, but I'd like to see where he'd be without me. Uh, I'm sorry for the outburst. I came here to relax, but just talking about my work makes me tense. So allow me allow me to wish you a civil good day so I can go back to watching the racers. Hey, man, I'm about to be a racer, so you, you just met me before I rise to fame. Greetings to you, offworlder. Are you here as a spectator, or will you be entering the swoop race as contender? I'm racing. Sure you are. We all welcome all racers regardless of professional status. We are to main, trying to maintain a full field of competitors. Of course, with the destruction and terrorists, we're in a bit of a rebuilding phase. Sector champion is one of the casualties there. Whoops. I won the season open on Terrace. I hesitate to believe that. Sith interference and destruction on all hollow feed that might have verified your story. We only know that all on Terrace were lost. You are welcome to prove your skill here regardless of experience. The course is open to any that have the means to participate. 100 credits must be peached for each freshly time type you make. This amount will be... Okay, I'm ready to race. Swoop in the starting position. I collect it. Uh, yeah, here we go. Uh, very good. I'll fold it. I must determine what time you will be trying to beat. Let's have a look at the standings. Quill is local favorite. That won't be much of a race. The swoop simply is a professional quality. Time to beat 2382. The non-swoop racing fans, we have a race about to commence. Show your respect as the newcomer challenges Quill for round one placing. All right, let's go. I forget how to race, so... Two, three, start racing. Swoop. I fricked that up. That's fine. Full power. I'm not going to beat his time, but it's because we crashed twice. Boo. Rude. I look like when you lose a chocobo racing game. 
All right, all right, all right. I'll give it a better shot. It's fine. I get it. Okay, you don't have to be rude. I do have money. I can keep going. That was unfortunate. Performance just now was not very high quality. We'll need to improve. I'm ready to raise. Let's go. I'll get booed off the stage if I need to. I want to win this garbage. Okay, we got a good start this time. I hate that we lose five seconds like right off the bat. Barely. <laughs> First time racing, you almost get the the top score by two seconds or three seconds, and then we're told it's not high quality. Get lost, Queedle. During the first round, I paid 500 credits. It's enough to cover your expenses, but you have to keep racing to really make it pay. We'll record this for future reference and wish you well on your attempt to reach sector champion. I'm ready. Yeah, sure. Oh, 23, Sandra Mattel is your opponent for this round. Uh, 23, okay, cool. Basically, fans are attention. New challenge now attempt to beat. Let's go. Is it the same track? It looks like the same track. Which means we will not have an issue with... Uh, uh, shoot, we just lost like a second there. Baby. This is very easily. It's, it's pretty simple mechanics for a mini game, and I don't hate it. It's actually a fun mini game. Second round wins worth 2,000 credits. Many races bow out when they reach this level. I have a feeling you won't. Next round of races will determine sector champion. It'll have to be flawless to achieve that. Do not even think of sniffing my plate. I'm ready to race. Uh, before you do, your next race would be against the leading time set by Racer Hook to Jax. Very insistent that you speak with him first. Uh, please do not anger the Gamorian. He would prove troublesome, and we don't want a scandal of high energy professional swoop racers. Where is he? Uh, he'll be in the race lot. room just to the east. Okay. Okay, so. Uh, east is this way. Oh, I just beat Quedal. Let's talk to Quedal. Hello there, I want to thank you for showing me I should get out of the swoop circuit, I just don't have what it takes. Be my time using, you're not even a pro, I'm taking the hit and leaving before I lose all my credits and support. I really want to make a go of it, but I guess you can't always do what you want. Well, you can, nice racing. Good luck on your career. Uh, why don't you keep crying? I was too late for that, maybe if I could have had one last good race, maybe if I could have upgraded my swoop, ah, it doesn't matter. Thanks anyway, but I'll be leaving now. Back to the processing job, I guess, that was fun while it lasted. Uh, you know what's funny is that, um, I, uh, very sad as I have ruined this man's career, um, looks like he wanted out anyway. Well, that person had a name, let's talk to her. Not bad, maybe if you win a couple of races, I might be glad to have talked to you. Rip, okay, so... I'm also technically not, like, driving a particularly good, um, bike, but it has a prototype engine, I think, and that's what's helping us. Uh, so you said to the east? I have no desire to speak to you. I know you have link- I'm not talking to you, so shut your gob. I'm trying to find a swoop racer. Something tells me uh, he doesn't know his. <laughs> he doesn't know his directions? Torchwood, okay. Is this a door I can't walk in without picking a fight? It's just on screen. You can't go here without paying a $20 toll. How many people who have business with the. I have business with Sid. We know who we have business with. I'll be going now. It was worth a shot. That was the embassy, and we might have been able to talk to somebody important there. But uh, Yortel's important. He's got a shop here. You got any armor plating for my swoop bike? Yes, I have a fine piece right here. A little dented, but still serviceable. Real bargain at that price. I this garbage was free. You actually sell this junk. You fish I don't think he's a fish, yo. Get out of my store, I'm sick of you sitting your stupid jokes. I got real customers to worry about. I don't need you coming in here and making fun of my inventory every day. 
When I want garbage, I'll be he back. looks like every other Sith we've spoken about, but hey, how about I chop his head off just- Oh wait, no. You don't mock me as a Sith, you actually want to buy something. Uh, my name is Sester, but just forgive me, I have no cause to be so rude to you. Sith makes such trouble for me and my business has been slow. That is no excuse for my tone, I apologize. Please, let us start off on the right foot. Welcome to the used goods stores of Yortal Ixlis. If there's anything I can help you with, all you need to do is ask. I would like to look at your inventory. Of course you would, my sock is all second hand, some of it is armor damage. But with the repairs I've done to them, my items are as good as new. Fraction of the price. Um... Did I read that you have- okay, no, he doesn't have plating. That was just for flavor. It should not be hard to identify a Gamorrean in this place. I'm just saying. I think he meant to the west when he said east. Unless this is the lounge. What? I mean, again. They want to talk now that I'm cool. George like watching on the track. You're good for a human. It runs or a nice version when the stress of my business becomes too much for me. I don't know. Uh, oh. I'm a super racer. East. East must be different on this planet. I get it. Okay. Yeah, you come talk to me. I got something to say to you, little Riz. So Hark to Jax doesn't like how fast you go. I told you once already, and I want you to remember. You don't win the sector champion spot. If you do, there will be trouble. Oh, ho, ho. Uh, and you and Hux to Jack are going to have problems. I'll promise you that. That was for Orin Fair. Just, just what do you cool. want? I don't waste time with fans. So if this is about an auto print... Didn't they beat you? You can buy one when I get more made up. Wait a minute. You're no fan. <laughs> That's what I thought. Uh, I just want to ask for you. She's rude. Suit record panel. Uh, show Hux to Jax. 2250. That's going to be a bit hard to beat, but if I stop messing up, we might be able to pull it off. Also, we can do 20 runs with the money they just paid us, so. You're racing today? I'm ready to race. Before we place, I must, yep, yeah, I'll pay the credit. 2250. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Good start. This is basically just drag race pod racing, and I'm here for it. I'll make it. Oh, just barely. Can't wait to fight the pig man. Walk into the bar like, whoa! Greetings, Sector Champion. RuPaul's Swoop Race. You have proven a spectacular racer despite the near lawless taunting of Huxley Jacks. You won a great deal of money. The payment for becoming Sector Champion is 5,000 credits. This will be the last amount offered for now. When we get a new round of races, we will make sure you are notified. Sure, man. I'm gonna go pick a fight with what's his face now. What you gotta say to me, dude? Hux says you earned a big enemy. You should have lost when you told to lose. Now something's gotta be done. Not here because cell calf cameras are watching. It's too smart for that. I was too smart for that. I get you when you least expect. Just you wait. Yeah, man. If I show up dead and uh, you uh, threaten me, I, I've got. Yeah, there you go. Let's go talk to Xena and see if she has anything interesting to say. So great. I can't believe you actually spoke to me like, wow. Well, I mean, okay, cool. Crash isn't winning the non championship. Do enjoy watching races. You're gonna make a nice break from the hectic world I must deal with. Okay. Cool means, man. I bet he's gonna attack me when I leave the, the city uh, the way I did the other day. Okay, so this is the east side, which um, I probably want to go the other way to find the embassy. The directions they give me in this uh, on this planet hasn't haven't been great. Uh, we did get a couple thousand dollars off that, so that's pretty neat. Let me see my actual inventory. Now it's eight thousand dollars. Can't really buy anything interesting, but 
Still, the thing I wanted to buy earlier was 10,000 credits. What's the time looking like today? 11.15. We got 45 minutes left in today's stream. Give or take. Vastila Karth, what in turnation arst thou doing? Ready. What can I do? Okay, you want to maybe all come to the same place, man? What? Thank you. You've been fantastic gentlemen and ladies. Sorry, my hands feel a bit creaky from being on this uh, mouse yes. all day. Um, I guess we can go to the right. I wonder if there's an intergalactic group halls. Ah, there we go. Roland Wan. Welcome to Manan. I'm Roland Wan. As the official representative of the Republic Embassy on this planet, I'm here to help all citizens of the Republic should they require aid. Uh, Kulto is a precious resource. Yeah, as long as care. we have the permits, we, if there was some way we could gain it, but the cell card. These questions, I am on a mission pressing out oh, with course. it. Of course, I'll do whatever I can, but I'm only a simple diplomatic representative. He looks like, uh, Beck Down without the uh, face piercing. That's not true. Beck looks very different. An ancient and forgotten... Well, perhaps, but if you want to get a... What do you want? We were using a submersible reconnaissance droid in the ocean surrounding Otto City, and it was damaged. It took a day to shark. the outside of the city before being driven off by the Foraxen sharks. But while it was returning to the surface, it encountered difficulties and was disabled. Its automatic systems floated it to the surface, but we could not retrieve it. It has good fail safes, I guess. The Sith were applying subtle pressure to the Selkath authorities for some reason we've not determined. And were able to delay us long enough that they could retrieve the droid before that we're not did. determined. I the think we have data centers are heavily encrypted, so it will take the Sith several days, we believe, to get to its data. It was captured 12 hours ago. It is imperative good that stuff. we get it back. It's heavily guarded, we're sure, in the Sith Embassy here on Manon. Since we have no remaining soldiers to spare, and certainly not our elite ones, we have no one capable of entering the Sith base. Gee, it'd be pretty cool if you had a Jedi. You to do. How do you there are several leads we've been working on to get into the Sith base. Any of them should work for you, although it might be wise to concentrate your efforts on just one. The first method that's possible is to help us interrogate a Sith prisoner we managed to catch after he tried to infiltrate our base. He's being held just inside our enclave. Okay. We think he may be able to give us the passcode that the Sith give their informers to enter the base. He has proved most resilient so far. Uh, what are the other ways? We managed to pick up a crate of blank Sith data cards, the type they use for pass cards. The encryption system to unlock them is very difficult, however. But if you are more skilled than our technicians... Ah, uh, mission might have been, but I'm not. That way. Another the way? Sith have got the cell cap to give them exclusive use of one of the main hangar bays. Visiting Sith Masters use this bay to land, then take a speeder over the water to an external entrance to the Sith Enclave. The luckless spy we mentioned earlier had a pass card to that hangar on him. While it is surely well guarded, it may prove to be the most direct route. Here's the card. The Sith base itself is very heavily guarded. If they became aware of your presence, I fear you would be quickly outnumbered and killed. Here is a pass card to get you inside our facility. You should find all you need to get started in there. You can choose whichever of the methods you want, as long as you get in the base and get the data recording back. Which method do you think you would like to try first? Well, I'll interrogate the prisoner. Make sure you don't push him too hard, or we might lose him. I don't have a lot of persuasion, but should you retrieve the data recording from the droid, return it here to me, and we can see about getting you that information. Like, I don't know if it's computer stuff or security stuff uh, in terms of stats. Right, so if I go here and I go to skills, my computer use is decent, but my security is not that good. <coughs> yeah, I know. So you're the one who's going to try to get into the Sith base, eh? Good luck, you're gonna need it. We have Thanks, been able man. to decode the numeric system they use, but there are holes in our terminal sequence patterns. The strings of numbers that end the code sequences. If we could complete those strings, we would have the key to their encryption system. The encryption system is composed of six matrices. Each is based on a mathematical method. 
The holes we're missing are the final number in each of the strings. Most are simple, but the final two matrices seem to be much more difficult. The second last matrix has a pattern looping back on itself, or something. And the last is divided into smaller subparts. I don't know if I'm supposed to understand this. The pattern this. for that is within each part. But I have to admit, all this is a bit over my head. I haven't even been able to slice past the first matrix. I've been at this for hours. I've ruined a dozen cards already. But the good thing is, we have a whole box of them. So you, since Roland said you were cleared, you can use the computer freely. I'll be here if you have any questions. Can I change my party? Maybe Mission will be able to do that. No? I want to see her stats, so let's remove Karth for a hot sec. I know, I know. It's not what I usually do. You just freak. See her stats. Her con com pooper. Actually, would it be computer use or would it be security? I feel like, okay, her security is really good, but see that. Um, My computer use is actually off the chain, Uh, so. Oh, oh no, we're set. Uh, uh, accessing added a matrix, terminal sequence, one, two, four. So one plus one is two, plus two is four, plus three is seven, plus four is 11, plus five is 16. So plus six would be 22. Accessing subtractive, subtractive, okay. Terminal sequence, 21 minus three equals 18 minus two equals 16 minus one is 15 minus zero is 15 plus one is 16. So plus two is 18. Uh, terminal sequence equals one plus one is two plus four, two is four plus, okay, no, this is times two, so 64. Divisive se sequence, so divided by two, divided by two, divided by two, divided by two, divided by two. Exponential, me oh dear, okay, one. Exposants. Oh crud. So we're trying to figure out what the exposant is, I guess. One. Thirty-two, eighty-one. Those are multiples of nine. Oh, this is a multiple of nine. Eight, five. So it's five times. Okay, okay, okay. I get it. That'd be one, uh, one squared. The one is irrelevant because you can expose one by anything and it'll always be one. So let's see, 32, no, four times four is 16, eight times eight is 64. So that's a, that's nine. What the heck is the square root of 30? What the heck is the square root of, let me, my scientific calculator out here. Square root of 32. It's 5.3. That's not a square root. Here's the mystery number here. Fine. Looks like it worked. Logarithmic? Oh, that's disgusting. We got lucky? Did we get lucky? I didn't study logarithms in class. I need that, like, specifically said. <laughs> I didn't get that high in math classes, so... <laughs> All I know is that logarithms are super freaking complicated. Unless you, like, know how to study, like, nah, yeah. Everything I've heard says that they're complicated. Hey, if you got a problem, go talk to our diplomatic representative. Don't bother me with- I'm so not convinced that that worked. So, you're the one Roland has got to help us interrogate this prisoner. 
I hope he's a Sith spy we picked up a little while ago, snooping around outside trying to get in. We thought he was suspicious and brought him inside when the Cellcast weren't looking. But it seems the Sith have done a pretty good job of conditioning this guy, and we haven't been able to break him yet. Uh, what did they do to him? The Sith protect their really important spies with some sort of mental force feedback system. They can turn their minds in on themselves, so force compulsions won't affect them. Combine this with conventional training to resist interrogation, and sometimes it takes months to get them to tell what they meant. Which is so you want to interrogate him now? Yeah, I might as well try. Well, the training the Sith gave him will protect him from most normal interrogation techniques, and also from forced persuasion. We have found a few hooks you might find useful. Better not be tortured. with another man when he was first spotted. We think it was another spy, but we didn't manage to catch him. We also seized some personal documents he had on him when he was captured. It would seem that he's married to a woman named Tila. We checked this in our computers, and it seems to hold up. We've sent a couple of agents to investigate, but it may be a while. What we have here is your standard issue truth serum. It should make him spill his guts in no time. But there is a catch. Yeah. Because of his conditioning, he's able to resist it at small doses. But if you give him too much, his body realizes what you're trying to do and shuts his mind down completely. Gotcha. If you do that, you'll have to inject him with an antidote that neutralizes the truth serum. Unfortunately, that too has a drawback. I detect a pattern it causes here. Causes short-term memory loss. This may work to your advantage because you can try the same tactic over and over again. But if you use it too much, you may forget everything you want Interesting. to know. Interesting. Shall we get it? So we get resets. Again? Sure. Hey, you! Wake up! Someone wants to talk to you. Uh. <laughs> what do you want? Oh, actually, I'm not here to threaten you. <laughs> you lies! You work for the Republic. Uh, the only ones will take you in now if you want. We can make it worth your while. The Sith will never trust you again, spy. We're the only place you have left. Tell us what we want to know. Never. Oof. I am Sith. I will. There's nothing you can do. Alright, let's try something else. What? What companion? Well, we don't really need you. We can make it with you. Okay, uh, if you want us. Of course, they would never. Move. You can't do this to me. They would kill. Um. Nothing you can. The gutless. Ah. Oh. Okay, maybe we should do something about Taylor. Taylor. You think? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn. Interrogate him, Taylor. No. Please don't hurt. Okay, cool. Do whatever you want. You think it worked, and then he didn't. Okay. Nothing. Got this. The Sith never. All right, all right, all right, all right. I don't have the persuasion level necessary for that. So I fixed the card, apparently, and that worked. That's fine. We did that. Um, we'll save. Time is it? Okay. Oh, we're getting stuck on nothing! Let's see what else this planet has to offer. I know I'm gonna get attacked by a Gamorrean sometime soon. It'll be fun. Visitor's Hotel. Interesting. Is my cash out again? Like 8,000 something? Ignis. Okay. Sorry, buddy. But the ever since the murder, the cell cat. Murder? Keep this place locked up tight. Only the Selkath authorities and those authorized by them are allowed. Another here. freeze, thanks, John. I'm not paying attention to the stream so much as I'm paying attention to the <laughs> the um the chat. This old Republic war hero by the name of Oh Sun great seeing the Sith oh? Alasa. Well, they were seeing each other, but the other night a blaster went off in one of the rooms. 
Some oh man. The place and the Stop. They framed him or did he actually kill her? But not everyone thinks this Sunry did it. So the cell cather but enough about my problem. I'm gonna go talk to them. See if I can get involved. Can't open the door. Silva, only quarter point. Okay. Honest. Damn, I'm here. Okay, yeah? can you get it? I know you're good at security stuff. Gotcha. Simple. Nice. Totally not robbing this place. I swear that's not against the rules. Yeah. So won't even open. Okay, get me back to Hester. Sorry, buddy. Ever since. Ha. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Ever since the murder. Well, but not. But okay, no. no. That's not gonna work. I really want to get involved in this murder trial, though. We didn't get a side quest for it, though. Sad face. It sounds like a side quest. Uh, um, is uh the enclave? Yeah, I guess we go. No, that was uh that was actually a locked door, so we won't be able to do that. All right, I feel like now's a good time to stop. I need to use the washroom anyway. We've made some pretty good progress in the form of not being on Dantooine anymore. So uh, thank you everyone who came by today. That was a fantastic. KOTOR stream. We'll be back tonight with Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories. We're restarting the second playthrough. It'll be fantastic. Uh, Ada and I are going to be suffering through that. It'll be amazing. Uh, so, love you folks. We'll see you then. 10pm uh, Eastern Standard Time tonight. And if you're only itching for more of this uh, KOTOR stuff, then you can hop on in tomorrow after... Nope, I'm wrong about that. I'm working. Uh, give me a sec. Tomorrow, tomorrow evening at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, I'll be streaming KOTOR for the last time this week. Uh, so until then, peace out, folks. Um, love you, and we will, yeah, we'll see each other then. Have a good one.